Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how to add an extra IP device to our existing IP camera system. Well, we've received a lot of questions. This is like what most people are asking, how to do that. And you can see I have already set up a working functioning camera system. See the image on the screen? So, this whole system, you can see this is a router, this is a PoE VR, and this is our IP device. The router provides the network, the PoE VR, the network recording machine. It helps us to provide power and data to these terminal devices and also can record and we can attach a screen here to you know watch the video image. So how do we add another IP device to this system? Well, this PO and a PoE NVR also has PoE fe uh, switch features uh, integrated in it. So what we need to do is first we need this PoE extender. There is a one input here, which will divide these the PoE network into two lines output here. So what we need to do first is disconnect here. So now the camera is disconnected and on the farther end of this here we add this extender. Once it's in, we can see the green light blinking indicates there's data going through here. But we know that this, this port only can you know, receive one device's data. If there's too many, the data packages will get mixed up and we will have the wrong signal. So in this case, we have to remove it from this port and then add it to this router. It would work like a switch. The data will be exchanged and handled here and then transferred as one whole package to the NVR. So we have to connect this PoE. But one thing is the router cannot provide power to the edge devices because it's only a router. In order to make it PoE enabled, we have to use this PoE injector. And the PoE injector injects power to the Ethernet cables. It can help us turn non-PoE devices into PoE devices. It's really handy. So I'm going to add this to the whole system. So with a PoE injector and a PoE uh, extender, we can add in one more IP device to our whole camera system, which is already existing. All right, now let's see how we should assemble and add the extra IP device. Well, first, remember I said the extender can extend two devices, but the router is not PoE enabled. So we're going to use this PoE injector. We're going to connect it to the router. Right here, there is a LAN port. So right here, I'm going to insert this short patch port. Remove it to remove the PoE extender. So now, after I insert the short patch that connected to the PoE injector, and then I will connect the extender to the injector. Now, after I power up the injector, there should be power and data coming through this Ethernet cable. We can see the LAN indicator is blinking here. So there's power in Ethernet. So now we can add two Ethernet cables to connect the two IP devices. Now first I'm going to connect our camera back. So once we get our camera back online, it's really easy to just plug and it's going to self-check. Then we'll get an image soon enough. Then here is the IP vocal phone. Right here, I'm connected to our extender as well. As you can see, there's a PoE port here. And connected to the extender. You can see the indicators on here are blinking. They're all on, it means this phone is functioning. So that's how easy it is. Yeah, you can see this all existing. IP camera system, we use the same Ethernet cable and extended it into two devices. So it's pretty simple, huh? Alright, thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.